Hello, I'm Lucy Hedges, the technology editor for the Metro newspaper, and I'm here with Hive's operations director, Ian Solomon. Ian, hi. Hi, Lucy. So ahead of events restarting in the autumn, how would you reassure our customers that Hive events are safe and secure? Well, OK, that's a big question. And first of all, I want to say how excited we are that they're uh, opening up again. Um, we haven't stopped. I don't think we've ever been busier. It's bizarre when we can't run events, we seem to be busier than when we could. Um, but we really haven't stopped since, uh, well, 12 months, 15 months ago, really, in terms of trying to understand how this pandemic would work mm -hmm. and then how we as an industry needed to cope with that. Um, as a business, we, uh, we run globally and uh, as a result of that we've been able to reach out to our various operations directors and my fellow colleagues around the world yeah. to look at how different areas and uh, understanding the disease and also how uh, what mitigation measures uh, would, be, would be right. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, we work very closely with all the other leading organisers in the UK. So we spent the last 12 months really putting together the guidance that has been rubber stamped and uh, in interpreted and, and incorporated uh, by the UK government and is now what is referred to through the guidance. So when you look on the AEO's website, that's, uh, that's guidance and regulations that have been put together by ourselves at Hive as well as our colleagues um, around the country. So mm -hmm. we've been really, really heavily involved in that. And yeah. so that will lead into various different things. So there's social distancing measures, obviously, that we need to consider, um, cleaning, mm -hmm. uh, that's really, really important. Um, making sure that we understand who's in our halls, that's going to be a very important thing for us going forward, as yeah. well, of course, as being able to communicate well to tell people exactly what to do and what yes. we're doing to try and make them feel safe. Then on top of that, of course, you've got the vaccination programme, which has been really a game changer for us. I mean, up until this point, we can work out how we can make people safe when we're there. But actually, the reassurance that the majority of the country will have been vaccinated well in advance of our events running live yeah. does really help us to understand that it's, it's going to be a very practical and, and enjoyable thing to do. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of work has gone into ensuring the utmost safety of anyone attending your events. Absolutely. Um, we've written, a, I think our risk assessment stands at about 92 pages long at the moment, Whoa. but that risk assessment has also been run at some of our events. We've run events in Russia, we've run events in China, in India, in Ukraine, mm -hmm. in Turkey, and they've all used the same risk assessment that we're using over here. And so mm -hmm. we've been able to test it already. Um, so we're really very, very confident that this is going to be an environment that people will feel very safe in. Yeah. And there'll be some benefits. Um, we've, we're rolling out contactless uh, registration, so hopefully that will disband with any queuing that we've yes. seen in the past. Um, as well as just being able to understand that we've needed to put in some slightly wider gangways mm. to allow people to feel more comfortable. The gangways will be wider than most pavements that you walk on down the street. Um, certainly we think our environment will be easily uh, more safe than any shopping centre and any retail environment that you'll be used to being in by yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. Ian. Thank you so much for that brilliant insight. It's really good to know what Hive's doing to ensure the utmost safety of everybody. So thank you. Brilliant, thank you.